Well, welcome back to the channel. Finally arrived. So I ordered it or picked it up on Marketplace a, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. And I finally got here today. I had a friend pick it up. And it's going to do wonders for the cabin in the winter. So I got a wood stove. So now we're going to go through and do an install of it in the cabin. It's a small wood stove. Remember, I'm only 280 square feet, so I don't need much. But it's a nice looking little stove. As you can see, it's got about a 14 inch firebox. I've got a little fire built inside of it. This is just going up for now. This will be the inside pipe. I'm going to elbow off that and go through the thimble. Uh, it's increasing it to six inches. So let this burn off a little bit. Make sure there's no paint fumes on it or anything else. Let it burn for a few hours. And then I will uh, get to building the spot for the fireplace. So stay tuned. We'll get it in there. So there's where we're going to put the wood stove. This hearth is going to turn this way so a long ways will be out so when you open the door the door will be that way. I got to put the hardy or the cement board up against the wall. I got enough for both sides five feet up. The thimble will go through the wall up in here somewhere. And I have some black metal being made. We'll put about an inch space in between here and the black metal so we have an air gap between that and that. So let me get this hardy board screwed up. It's quite the mess, but at least I got a vacuum. The thing is, is, I have OSB on the walls instead of drywall. So even if I miss the stud, I'm still going into wood. Well, there's that, five foot up the wall. Thimble will go right here, right in this area. So I think it'll work. Let's get on with it. Okay, so my metal came in. It's got plastic on it uh, to protect it from scratches. I'll pull that off before I put it up, but it's black. I've got one piece of Z metal up right now, so this will go behind the metal. It's what I'll anchor the metal to. And there'll be three strips here, three strips over there. I just got to cut them to length. This metal I had made with two ridges in it to help keep it because as the heat goes, I don't want it to start bowing and kinking, so it'll give it some rigidity. But I also added a lip on the edge. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> So as it comes over here, it'll go down and be flush with the wall right there. So you won't see the hardy board back there at all. And it'll be the same on both sides. And then in the middle, you'll just see where the Z-metal comes together with the other Z-metal. And so it'll just be this with that metal ending on here, which I'll use stitch screws. So there'll be three strips of Z-metal. So one on each edge and then one in the middle and we'll get it up so now I just got to cut the the Z flashing which I had made for this specifically this size um, cut them down the length get them anchored and I am just using the 
inch and a quarter backer screws because uh, they go into the cement board quite well and then they will actually anchor into the OSB wall covering that I have. So let me get to cutting down some of these strips and we'll get to mounting them. So there's what it looks like so far with the Z back there. Now it's time to work on the sheet metal. Well, I received my Duravent thimble for going through the wall to complete the stove. And I've got all the pipe in finally. And so what it said to do was mark a um, 14 and a quarter inch or cut a 14 and a quarter inch circle and so basically I took the part of the thimble that goes through measured it which will be this piece here this being the outside this being the inside work it up there I found center where the pipe's going to go using my level and then I uh, put marks on the outside, put the thimble up there, drew a circle on it. So now I gotta drill a hole in there and then get my jigsaw in there and cut it open. So let me get to it. Also what I did is I put tape across the top of my backing so I hopefully can keep a lot of the sawdust from going down. So I did the center because I'm going to poke something through and mark the center on the exterior wall before I cut this out so I have it centered all the way around. Well I received my Duravent thimble for going through the wall to complete the stove and I've got all the pipe in finally. And so what it said to do was mark a um, 14 and a quarter inch or cut a 14 and a quarter inch circle and so basically I took the part of the thimble that goes through measured it which will be this piece here this being the outside this being the inside Work it up there. I found center where the pipe's going to go using my level. And then I uh, put marks on the outside, put the thimble up there, drew a circle on it. So now I've got to drill a hole in there and then get my jigsaw in there and cut it open. So let me get to it. Also what I did is I put tape across the top 
of my back end so I hopefully can keep a lot of the sawdust from going down. So I did the center because I'm going to poke something through and mark the center on the exterior wall before I cut this out so I have it centered all the way around. Vacuum out here shortly. Well, there's my hole. I've already tested the thimble, it goes in, but I have to put, according to the instructions, I need to put a 2x6 across the bottom or a 2x6 across the top so it's got four sides there to anchor it to. So I will have to cut it 2 by two two by sixes put them in there and then we'll move forward So it says to box it in, which is what I did. They're not quite level, but they're boxed in, so they'll allow me to anchor the pipe to it. So that's done. Now I just gotta get the T in. 
damn back at working on the stove pipe. I had to wait a couple of days because the through the wall uh, piece that comes with the kit the Duravent is only nine inches which is fine if you're going straight up side of the wall and not worried about an eave but my eave sticks out a little bit so I had to order a 12 inch one and it just took a little over a week and a half to get here but I ordered that got it and now I'm getting ready to move forward so because it's longer than the nine inches this won't mount straight to the wall um, so I have to add uh, so a 4 by 4 block in the wall to make up for the extra 3 inches that are there. So let me get to that. Since I, since I had to wait a week and a half for stuff, I put tape over my hole right here so I didn't get birds and squirrels crawling inside the cabinet. So I'm going to get this cleaned off and then I'll try and put that pipe in. installed still gonna be a tight fit coming up around my eve but we'll make it work somehow So I've got the boot pre-staged onto the pipe, the top pipe. Put my cap on up here. And all that, but I had to do some stuff yesterday I couldn't film. I had to cut out a small section up there get that on and I couldn't film and cut at the same time so I blocked it in around there that pipes in you can see I've got it attached to the building with metal tape screwed in and it's solid it's not moving and so the other one will go on top and that boot will come down and cover this opening I just got to get a bigger ladder that I can get up above that and I think the neighbor has an extension ladder I can use and get that on. Uh, so that's my next step, get that pipe up on top with the thing once I get the extension ladder. And then I'll be almost ready, I'll have to caulk around this hole here and then the same on the inside once I get it hooked to the stove. 
it'll go just in time because the weather's turning they got snow on Anchorage yesterday or last night um, it's getting getting chilly out it's supposed to be decent weather next week you know above snow time but right now this weekend it's pretty cold let's get back to the pipe Well, there you have it. I got the boot down. It's cocked underneath. You have to put a lot of bolts in about every inch, inch and a half around. And then because it was over the edge, I just kind of pulled it down to keep the water from flapping underneath it and everything. So it should work. And I'll hook up the inside and I'll start a fire. Well, there you have it. Pipes all the way in. It's going out. Not on the thimble, which is anchored very solidly. On up. We'll get some braces that'll go on the top part. They go off the side, they'll bolt down the roof. But for now, let's make a fire. Using some of the cutoffs of the 2x4s I've been going. Hopefully they're dry enough. I don't want to get a real hot fire going until I see how everything burns, but at least a little bit going. Looks like it's drawing. There's no smoke coming out the front. Oh, I spoke too soon. Must have been a gust of wind out there. Well, it's putting off good heat. It's burning quite well. Monitor a little bit. There's no smoke coming out anywhere on the pipe. It 
So I think we've got a keeper. Monitor that, see how everything else goes. But with that said, thank you for watching the channel. God bless. Winter's coming soon. Sorry it took so long for me to put this one together. I'm just waiting on parts. Other than that, God bless. Hugs. See you on the next video.